Today on Schmindian, we're making the classic Indian snack, pakoras. Pakoras are a spicy, battered, deep fried fritter, which is perfect for your afternoon tea. Let's make it. Welcome to Shmindian, I'm your host Paul Singh and this is Indian Food Demystified, aka Indian Food for Schmucks. Today we are talking about a dish that is crispy on the outside, soft on the inside, and has been called the best afternoon snack to ever emerge from the Indian subcontinent. We're making pakotas. So I'm going to give you a little background about the dish and then we're going to make them and then my dad is going to try them and tell me what he thinks. Pakotas are basically onion rings except they're not rings. These are more shaped like abstract art. This is sort of like if Jackson Pollock was making an onion ring, it would look like this. I used to think of them as crispy, delicious onion asteroids. Look at this big pile of onion asteroids. You're telling me you don't want this? You're lying. The point is, why eat an onion ring when you can eat an onion asteroid? That's an easy choice. Now as a dish, pakotas are pretty old. The earliest known recipe comes from the Loka Pakara, which is an early Indian encyclopedia from around the 10th century. That book mentions a version of pakota where they press the batter into fish-shaped molds and fry them in mustard oil. And the Loka Pakara is written in a language called Canada. And guess where I am right now? I'm in the country Canada. How about that? They were also mentioned in a book called the Manasalasa, which was written by an Indian king around the 12th century. And in that book, they called it parika. But all the ingredients are the same. It's ground flour turned into batter with vegetables in it and deep fried. And like most Indian dishes, there's regional variations of this wherever you go in India. There's the spicy South Indian mirchi pakotas and the classic Amritsar fish pakotas. There's even a tradition of eating pakotas during monsoon season because pakotas are an extremely comforting dish very cozy dish. You eat a pakoda with some chai or tea and it you just feel warmer and cozier. I don't know what it is. It's a very cozy food. Today I'm going to show you how to make my family's authentic Punjabi onion pakoda. Crispy, chewy, spicy, comforting. What else do you want from a fritter? Also it's called a pakoda, which is cooler than saying fritter. Let's make this thing. A round of applause for our wonderful ingredients. We got onions, potato, spinach, Basin, which is chickpea flour, finger hot chilies, and a teeny tiny bit of baking soda. So we're gonna chop whatever needs to be chopped, mix it with the basin, put some spices in, get our hands real dirty, and uh, deep fry the crap out of these little fritters. Onions first. We're gonna free the onions from their paper, get a big old bowl. Everything's gonna go in here. This is gonna be super easy. We're gonna cut these onions with the grain and really, really thin in radial cuts. The thinner they are, the more surface area there is for them to hold onto the batter. So make them real thin but thick enough so that they keep their shape though. You don't want them flopping all over the place. Next, the potato. We're gonna peel this. We're just gonna dice this down to little tiny bits. You can do it whatever way you feel comfortable. It's just, all it is is just a lot of cuts. Need small bits, small, small potato bits. Now the spinach. Now you can cut these stems off with a knife if you want, or you can just like grab them and just savagely twist them off like that. Anyway, we have to dice these up as well. You're noticing a theme, aren't you? Take that, spinach. In you go. Now a quick note, if you're a normal person, at this point you would dice up the chilies and put them in. However, I'm not a normal person. I'm Indian. And when my dad taught me this recipe, he put the chilies in after the flour. So I'm gonna have to stick with that. It's his recipe, I have to respect it. But you know, you can go ahead and chop those up now since we got the cutting board out. Moving right along, we're gonna add our basin flour and then do this. We're gonna go underneath and come up very slowly because you don't want this jumping out. Any way you wanna do this is okay, but you just gotta do it slowly. Now for the fun part, we're gonna add our spices. Half a teaspoon of garam masala. We're gonna go full four teaspoons of salt. One teaspoon of amchur powder. Mix all that together. We're gonna slowly add water and create a batter. The water for this should be one and a half cups to one and three quarters cups. This ended up being one and a half cups. The consistency you're looking for is a little bit thicker than pancake batter. Start by mixing and eventually we're going to start squeezing and adding more water. This is a really good way to get your frustrations out. If something's bothering you, just think about it and then just crush, just like crush it. Imagine you're crushing that thing that you're thinking about. Now we cut up the chilies. Right down the middle, down the middle again, and just dice the crap out of them. I should say this about the chilies. Three is really hot. It's 
Can tell you that right now. Extremely hot. Um, that's how my dad likes it. That's how he makes it. For a regular human, I would go with half a chili or one chili. For a regular Indian human, two chilies. For my dad, three chilies. That's the scale. Last things last is the baking soda. The baking soda will make it crispier, otherwise it will be more chewy. So use a wooden spoon for this part. Now we gotta deep fry the heck out of these little critters. Critters. We're using canola oil, medium heat. Put a couple paper towels down here. So it's simple, we're just going from here to here to here. Bing, bang, boom. But the technique for over here is you want to use your hand as a scoop. So a little scoop in your fingers like this. And then, so we're gonna go scoop and then we're gonna do thumb down push. You can do the same technique with a spoon, but I'm going old school and using my hands. This is gonna get so messy. Your hands are gonna be just covered in batter. So gonna need one of these. I'm just gonna grab some and I'm just, I'm just gonna push it up against the side here. I'm gonna move it back and forth to let go of any stragglers. You want it to be about the size of a Tim Hortons Timbit in volume or a donut hole if you're in America, about that, whatever that volume is. And then, bam. So the first one is gonna be a test one. We're gonna try it and adjust the spices if we think we have to. It's a pro tip from my dad. Frying a single pakoda takes about a minute and a half. Frying a group of pakodas takes about three minutes. And we gotta flip it. We're looking for golden brown. Oh yeah. Come with me, my weird, delicious tentacled asteroid. It looks ugly, but it's actually delicious. Oh my god. Might need a little bit more salt, but you try it at home and adjust the spice to whatever you think it should be. It took me about 30 minutes to cook all of these and it ended up being 53 pakotas in total. Obviously you're not gonna sit there and eat 53 pakotas in a row. The good news is, is that you can freeze these or put them in the fridge and warm them up later and they taste just as good. Now let's plate these up and try them. We're gonna go old school with this. We're gonna eat our pakotas with a cup of tea and a dipping sauce. Sauce is crucial. You can dip this in ketchup, a variety of chutneys, all kinds of different sauces. I like going ketchup most of the time, but recently I've discovered ketchup with a dollop of tamarind sauce really hits the spot. So that's what I'm gonna go with. Crispy, chewy, it's got that sweet kind of oniony thing going on. Great textures. Yep. Yeah. Corns are a winner, man. Nice with the tea. All the ingredients are doing their job on this one. Really, really good. But don't just take my word for it. Let's see what my dad thinks. Dad, what are we eating today? I think uh, you made pakoras today. I did. Onions. These are your pakoras, Dad. This is your recipe. Yeah, they're good. They're fluffy. Mm -hmm. They're like a soft. Mm -hmm. Well cooked, not overcooked. Well cooked. Okay. They are certain they need to be. Mm -hmm. And uh, but if somebody like more spicy, right? They can add a little more chilies, crushed chilies, okay, or salt seems okay to me. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the spices seems fine. Okay, so just just I mean... like it. If somebody like more spicy, they can add maybe. Maybe 10% more chilies. 10% more chilies? Yeah. Okay. They like spicy food. Okay. Any any other adjustments? Mm, no. That's it? Otherwise, great. Okay. Do you want to try it with the tea? Good. It's good afternoon snack. Good snack? Do you think my pakotas are equally as good as your pakotas? You made better. I made better? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I, I got a bun sometimes. Oh. <laughs> okay. Are you sure? You're not just saying that no, to... No, no. Okay. You're pretty good. Okay. All right. That's I'll it. Let you. That's it. That's it. Okay. Thanks, Dad.